quiz show that takes contestants for a loop. Which is the real flag of France. Oh, lock it in. Fail. Oh, no! Returns. I don't do roller coasters, Rob. Do you know what's ahead of you? Ah! Rob Lowe hosts Mental Samurai. Premieres Tuesday, May 25th on Fox. Well, the Supreme Court has declined to block New York State's COVID vaccine requirement for healthcare workers. That request was brought by doctors, nurses, and other medical professionals who object to the vaccine for religious reasons. And the court's decision seems to be the end of their fight. Sharon Crowley is in the newsroom for us with a look at what happens next. Sharon? That's right, Lori and Steve. Governor Hochul's healthcare vaccine mandate will hold. The Supreme Court will not block it, even though some healthcare workers tried to get the high court to do just that. Some doctors, nurses, and other healthcare workers argued they should be afforded a religious exemption if they didn't want to get vaccinated. The Supreme Court will not block a vaccine mandate for health workers in New York. Doctors, nurses and other medical workers filed emergency appeals saying they were being forced to choose between their jobs and their religious beliefs. Andrew Lieb is an employment attorney. The healthcare workers are going to have to choose between getting vaccinated or losing their jobs. New York is one of just three states, along with Maine and Rhode Island, which do not accommodate health care workers who object to the vaccine on religious grounds. Justices Neil Gorsuch, Clarence Thomas and Samuel Alito dissented. Justice Gorsuch, who wrote the dissent, said, why is it that you can have a medical exemption but not a religious exemption? Under employment law, we know that all policies should be subject to both. And what Justice Gorsuch pointed out is while you may need vaccinations to achieve a herd immunity or a safe level at a hospital settling, why is it that there was no vaccination exemption for religious reasons? The ACLU of New York supports a vaccine mandate for health care workers. The executive director saying in a statement, quote, the highly infectious and deadly COVID-19 virus has wrought incalculable pain and loss in New York will relieve the court is recognizing and affirming New York's decision to protect the health of all New Yorkers. Religious beliefs do not give you the right to endanger others, especially if you're a health care worker. Uh, it does not give you the right to endanger the patients you're supposed to be serving. State Assembly Member Richard Gottfried says about 90 percent of health care workers in New York have been fully vaccinated. Assembly Member Gottfried, who chairs the health committee, does not think the high court's move will create staffing shortages. I think there have been very few people uh, holding out. And I think that once it's very clear that this mandate is in place, uh, I think you will have almost everyone complying with the mandate. Well, the ACLU of New York supports a vac vaccine mandate for health care workers, uh, among other groups who've said as much. And uh, what we're learning, Steve and Lori, is that the legal challenges that this mandate faced, they were also faced when New York City's mayor in implemented a New York City vaccine mandate for all school employees. They also faced similar challenges. I'll send it back to you in the studio. All right. Thanks, Sharon.